Hello, my name is Arnaud Delorme, and this is a series of video on robust statistics applied to EG data. This is part four, uh, which is about the difference between bootstrap and permutation. So we've already talked about bootstrap when comparing two paired condition and on a null hypothesis, we assume that the difference is close to zero. So we can put all the pairwise difference in the bucket and randomly draw from that bucket to build the difference distribution. If zero lies in the tail, then we can conclude that the two conditions are significantly different. What about permutation? For permutation under the null hypothesis, again, there should be no difference between condition A and B, so we can randomly permute some of the values. So here is one random permutation, for example. For each pair, there is a 50% chance of switching condition. Then we can take the average of the pairwise difference, not that this is equivalent to randomly inverting the sign of some of the pairwise difference before taking the mean. Then we can build our null distribution and we assess if the original unpermuted mean difference lies in the tail of the null distribution or not. If it does, then we can conclude that the two conditions are significantly different. So let's quickly review that with a concrete example where we can just, we just want to determine if husbands are older than their wives. For bootstrap, we put all the age differences in the big bucket and we randomly draw eight values. Then we calculate the mean rep repetitively to create the mean difference distribution. If zero lies in the tail, then the difference is significant. For permutation, again, we put all the difference values in the big bucket, but for each iteration, ran we randomly permute the sign of some of the differences. We take the average of these values to build the null distribution then we conclude that there is a significant difference if the original and permuted difference lies in the tail of that null distribution. So what about unpaired statistics? The interesting thing with this example is that we can perform either paired or unpaired statistical comparison. We have done the paired comparison, so let's do the unpaired one. In this case, there is no pairing, so we just have a group of men and a group of women. We want to assess if the men as a group are older than women. So to do bootstrap, we're just going to have one bucket for men and one bucket for women. Then we bootstrap the bucket for men and we get uh, bootstrap age for men and we do the same for women. We subtract the two mean age and we build our difference distribution. As in the unpaired case, if zero lies in the tail, we can conclude that the two groups are significantly different. What about permutation? For permutation, as for bootstrap, we have a bucket for men and a bucket for women. We randomly permute the values between these two buckets. So we take any value from the men bucket and swap it with value in the women bucket. The difference with the paired case is that the age of any men can be permuted with the age of any women, and we do not permute only within couple. We then take the mean from each bucket after permutation and build on null distribution. If the original and permuted mean difference lies in the tail of the null distribution, we can conclude that there is a significant difference. So, which one is better? Anyone want to bet? Mr. Delorme, Mr. Delorme. Yes, me from the past. This is the easy one. Permutation is much better. To test if A or B are different, you just simply swap the value. It's super easy. Me from the past. I'm not surprised. You're wrong again. Permutation might sound more intuitive, but bootstrap is more stati statistically sound. In fact, in his book on robust statistics, Wilcox only has a few pages on permutation while the rest of the book is about bootstrap. So why is bootstrap more statistically sound? The assumption for using surrogate statistics is that the current sample is the best estimate of your population. When you're drawing subjects from your population, you want to draw the draws to be independent. So this is the case with bootstrap because you're drawing values with replacement. Each value we draw, we put back in the bucket, so we might draw it again and each draw is independent. This is not the case for permutation where we draw each value only once. So when you're using permutation, each draw depends on the previous ones. Imagine you're drawing subjects from the general population. Speaking a subject should not depend on the subject you've picked before. And this is one of the reasons why bootstrap is more statistically, statistically sound than permutation. In practice, on actual data, we cannot really see the difference. So it's more of a preference for bootstrap than a numerical one. 
So this is the end of this presentation and I want to thank you for your attention and hope to see you in one of my future videos.